welcome to your Othello School District Weekend Update. I'm Ed Peterson, Director of Public Relations. This week was filing week for the November general election and August primary. Three Othello School District Board of Directors positions are up for election this year. For position one, Kelly Camp is the incumbent. She'll be running versus Aaron Gerber. Thalia Lemus currently occupies a position five at large seat. She'll be running against Tesoro Pernetta Jr. And Chris Baginski will be running unopposed for position two, which is being vacated by Sharon Schutte as she ends her time on our board of directors this year. Othello School District will host an outdoor summer school for grades K through 6 this summer at Wahidas Elementary School. Activities will include lessons on local ecology, sustainability, outdoor skills, habitat design, and more. A registration link is available at OthelloSchools.org, and you can email Paul Oursland for more information. Othello High School seniors received more than $66,000 in locally funded scholarships at Scholarship Night at Othello High School on Thursday evening. All of those scholarships are funded by local families, individuals, individuals, or organizations. McFarland Middle School's English Language Arts team has been pilot testing two curricula this year, and they're ready to recommend one for adoption at Monday evening school board meeting. They've selected the Amplify curriculum, and parents can review materials at our district office Monday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. That is located, of course, at 1025 South 1st Avenue in Othello. You can call ahead if you want to at 509-488-2659, and our team will be happy to help you review those materials and answer any questions that you might have. Again, that's from McFarland Middle School English Language Arts. That review Monday evening. It's a busy time of year for field trips. Our fourth graders from Ludicaga Elementary took an exciting trip to Grand Coulee Dam on Thursday to learn about power generation, irrigation, and construction of the dam. It was a lot of fun to go along with them. Other field trips included second graders from several of our schools visiting Othello Community Hospital for a tour and to learn about health care. Fifth graders visited Othello's old hotel and museum, and other trips included some trips down to Pasco to visit Columbia Basin College. I think one of the most fun and cutest field trips over the last couple of weeks was our first graders from Scutney Springs visiting Walmart in Othello. The team there rolled out the red carpet for the kiddos. They got to run a register. There were lots of arts and crafts. They even fed the kids lunch, some nice slider sandwiches and drinks and chips. Kids got to tour every square inch of that building, including the back end garden center. It was a really great trip, and we want to thank Othello Walmart and their team for making it special for our kids. Construction is continuing on safety improvements at the 14th Avenue and Scutney Street intersection. Concrete work on those bulb outs is largely done. You can see the sidewalks starting to take shape. They still have to add some lands Landscaping, and then that new Hawk lighting system will be added soon as well. That's similar to the lighting system that you see on Main Street near City Hall and McDonald's. With the flashing lights that tell traffic when to stop when somebody's crossing the road and when it's safe to proceed again. Hopefully that'll make things a lot safer for our kiddos that walk to school, both to Scutney Springs and Wahidas, which is right there at that intersection as well. Give kids a break there, please. Follow the stop signs, follow normal traffic laws, wait your turn, be patient, and everybody gets to school safe. Spring sports are still trucking along. OHS softball clinched a state berth by winning 9-0 over Clarkston at home on Saturday. Opening round games for the state 2A softball tournament are May 26th. The state championship, of course, is in Sela. In golf, senior Will Parrish was named to the 2023 CWAC All-Conference first team. TJ Murdoch and Colin Simmons were named to the second team. And AJ Parrish was named honorable mention. In girls golf, Mariah Murdoch was named first team All-Conference. Rachel Bates and Sammy Shade were second team All-Conference and they'll represent Othello at state. Senior Lacey Garza will represent Othello High School in discus at the state competitions coming up. And OHS Unified Soccer Senior Night. The game versus Grandview was canceled, but our staff put together a really special event. It was a staff versus the unified team event where we got to celebrate our seniors and have a good time. I'm not sure what the final score was. I know that when I had to leave, the kids were beating up on the staff pretty well. It has been a very hot week. We've got our first preview of summer weather this week. Things will cool off and be a little bit more moderate in the upcoming week. Looking for daytime highs in the low 70s to mid 80s across the Columbia Basin region. Don't forget that Monday is a 90-minute late start. We have no breakfast service at our elementary schools on those late start Mondays. We also have a couple of snow makeup days that we have to take care of. The first one coming up on May 26th. That might be a no school day on your calendar, but there is school on May 26th. It is a snow makeup day. That's your Othello School District Weekend Update. Thanks for watching.